what's going on is a war against children, against women. It's a genocidal practice that we see live. So, I mean, the first immediate demand is a ceasefire, make it stop. A second demand indeed has been in relation to arms exports. If there's a risk of violations of human rights, we shouldn't export weapons. Now, I don't think that anyone in their mind could today argue that there's not a risk of human rights violations in Gaza with the weapons that are going to Israel. So, you know, the ICJ just, just reinforced that message and, and, and gave it international legal status. The third demand, which is important, regards the association agreement. It's an amendment that our members have tabled time and again. Why? Because the European Union today has this specific, special relationship with Israel on the basis of a partnership agreement, which gives Israel massive trade benefits. The Article 2 of that agreement says Israel should respect human rights. I mean, both parties should. And what we have seen here, unfortunately, in this parliament is is that there's a double standards. When it's about Ukraine, they will all rise, they will all stand for Ukraine, defend the sovereignty of Ukraine, uh, send weapons even to Ukraine, sanction Russia. When it's about Israel, well, you know, if you, you, you're you lucky if you get a critical view expressed in parliament, thanks to the pressure, thanks to the mobilization of the people, ever more members of parliament from different groups have spoken up and have been pushed to take a more critical stance towards Israel. But there's no action. 